Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. Square root of 2x plus square root of 3x is equal to square root of 5. If you guys want to try it on your own, pause it because I'm going to solve it in 3, 2, 1. So first thing we can do is separate these. So this square root of 2x can become square root of 2 times square root of x. This square root of 3x can become square root of 3 times square root of x, and that's still equal to the square root of 5. Both of these terms now have a common factor, the square root of x, so we can factor that out. All we did here was pull out the common term, the square root of x, and then left the square root of 2 plus the square root of of three on the inside of the parentheses. If you're a little confused, if you can think of it this way. If we take step number three and distribute this square root of x to both of these terms, it brings us back to step two. And then from here, our end goal is to get x by itself. So I'm going to divide all of this from both sides. On the left-hand side, these cancel, leaving us with just the square root of x. And then we can just copy down the right-hand side as it is. So now the only thing stopping the x from being alone is this square root. So if we square both sides, this left-hand side will now just become x. But we can simplify this quite a bit. It. This squared can distribute to both the top and the bottom. And then the square root of 5 squared is 5. And on bottom, this thing squared just means this thing multiplied by itself. So now we can multiply this out. We have the square root of 2 times square root of 2, which is 2. We have square root of 2 times square root of 3, which is square root of 6. We have square root of 3 times square root of 2, which is also square root of 6. And then we have square root of 3 times square root of 3, which is 3. The 2 plus the 3 on the bottom can become 5. And square root of 6 plus square root of 6 just means we have two of these. So we call it 2 square root of 6. Six. This looks a lot more simplified, but we're technically still not done. We're not supposed to have the radical in the denominator. So to deal with that, we're going to multiply top and bottom by the conjugate. To get the conjugate, if you notice, we just changed the plus to a minus. And now we're going to multiply these, and there's an implied parentheses on each of these. So we're going to distribute this 5. 5 times 5 gives us 25. And then 5 times negative 2 root 6 is negative 10 root 6. And on bottom, we have 5 times 5, which is 25. 5 times negative 2 root 6, which is negative 10 root 6. 2 root 6 times 5, which which is positive 10 root 6, and 2 root 6 times negative 2 root 6, which is negative 4 times 6. These two terms cancel each other out, and 4 times 6 is equal to 24. 25 minus 24 is just 1, so we don't worry about that anymore, and we're just left with 25 minus 10 root 6. And that's the answer to the question, and we can put a box around it. How exciting.